Foundation of Belief Section 1 Praise be to God, the Creator, the First, the Last, the Doer of whatever He wills, who guides His servants towards the true path, who makes Himself known to men that He exists by Himself without any partner, He is single without any associate, the Eternal without anyone before Him, and without any beginning, the everlasting without any end. He is the first, the last, the external, the internal, the all-knowing. The following beliefs about God is necessary. Number one, the belief in His transcendence. He is without body and form, free of restrictions, limitations and resemblance, not divisible. Nothing is like Him, and He is not, not like anything. He is not limited by measure, space and time. He is free from diligence, rest and change. Everything is in His grasp. He is above the Arsh, above the heaven and above everything. He is nevertheless below the deepest depth. Yet He is near, very close to a thing, nearest to the jugular vein of a man. He is not in anything and nothing is in him. He is beyond space and beyond time. He is now as he was before. He expresses himself through his creature, his, cre his creatures and not by existence. He is free from change, increases or decreases in his form. 2. To believe in his power and existence. He is ever-living, all-powerful, almighty, the greatest destroyer. He is free from faults and failures, slumber and sleep, disease and death. He is the Lord of the entire universe, angels and of everything. The heavens are rolled in His hands. He is unique in creation and unrivaled in ever-new creations. He fixed the provisions and death of created things. Nothing can escape from His power. His power and might are above counting. Number three, to believe in His knowledge. His knowledge is without limit. He knows everything. Whatever happens between the deepest abyss of earth to the highest heavens is within His knowledge. The smallest atom in earth and in heaven is not outside His knowledge. He knows the creeping of an ant and on a solid stone in the intense dark night or in the movement of a mast in the air. Everything open and secret is within his knowledge. Every thought in mind, every contrivance of the devil, every thought good or bad is within his knowledge. His knowledge is eternal and unlimited without any increase or decrease and without any defect. To believe in His will. Nothing comes into being small or great, good or evil, benefiting or not benefiting, faith or infidelity, known or unknown, profit or loss, sin or virtue without His order, power and will. What He will comes into being what he does not will does not come into being. Not a glance of the eye, not a stray sudden thought in the mind is outside his will. He does what he wills. There is none to resent his commands. There is no obstacle to it. There is no refuge of one who is disobedient to him. There is none to follow his commands without his will. If mankind, jinn, angels and devil want to remove an atom from its proper place, they won't be able to do it without his will. His will lies naturally in his attributes, which are unlimited. There is no precedence or subsequence of any event from its appointed time. Number 5. To believe in his hearing and sight. He hears and sees. His hearing and sight are all pervading. Nothing however scanty can escape his hearing and nothing however subtle can escape his sight. Distance is no bar 
to his hearing and seeing rather distances and nearness are all equal to him darkness cannot obstruct his sight he sees without eyes catches without hands and creates without instruments his attributes are like those of the created beings and and his being is not like that of the created number 6 to believe in his words god speaks without sound it is eternal ancient and self existing unlike the talks of the created his talk is without sound it has got no connection with the circulation of air it does not take the help of words and languages through the movement of the lips the quran the bible the gospel the zabur are his created books to his pre- to his prophets the quran is recited by tongue written in paper and preserved in hearts nevertheless it is eternal existing with the eternity of god moses heard his words without sound and language and the righteous will see him in the hereafter without body and space number 7 to believe in his actions there is no creator of actions except he and nobody is outside his judgment he created everything in its best to make and form and no other form is better than it he is wise in his actions and just in his judgments his justice is not compared comparable to that of men whatever exists in the world men jinn angels devils heaven earth animals plants inanimate things comes out of nothing but his power he existed in eternity by himself and there was nothing along with him thereafter he originated creation not because of his necessity he has no fatigue whatever he does is from a sense of justice and not from oppression or injustice obedience to him is binding for all his creators creatures creatures and he expressed it through his prophets he gave them miracles and conveyed his injunctions and prohibitions through them to believe in the other words it is to attest to the prophethood of muhammad god sent the unlettered quraishite prophet muhammad as an apostle to all the arabs and the non arabs to the jinn and the men by his law he abrogated all other laws he gave him superiority to all other prophets and made him the leader of mankind and he did not complete complete any faith with the words of tawhid till it was followed by the attestation that muhammad is a servant and his messenger he made compulsory to believe in whatever muhammad said about this world and the next world he does not accept the faith of a man unless he believes in these articles of faith along with the following number 1 to believe in munkar nakir there are two terrible angels they believe they will make the dead one sit up in his soul and body and ask him about the religion and the prophet this is the first examination after death <clears throat> number 2 to believe in the punishment of the grave as being true number 3 to believe in the balance with two scales and a tongue the magnitude of which is like the stages of heaven and the earth therewith the actions of the men will be weighed the weight would be like a moat or a mustard seed to establish exact justice number 4 to believe in the bridge it is a bridge stretched over hell sharper than the edge of a sword and thinner than the hair of a man The feet of the unbelievers will slip and they will fall down into hell. The feet of the believers will be firm upon it by the grace of God and so they will cross into paradise. Number 5 to believe in the fountain. This is the fountain of the prophet. The believers will drink from it and enter paradise after crossing the bridge. Whoever will drink from it once will never ever be thirsty. It is the water that is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. there will be so many pictures around 
like so many stars in the firmament. Number six, to believe in the judgment. Some will render little account, some great, and some will end up paradise without any account. They will be in the neighborhood of God. Those who believe in Tawheed will come out of hell after their punishment in hell. Number seven, to believe in the intercession of the prophets and then the learned and then the martyrs and then the rest of the believers. They will make the right of intercession on the day of judgment in proportion to the ranks to God. Number eight, to believe in the goodness of the companions, first of Abu Bakr, then of Omar, then of Usman and then of Ali. You will have a good idea about them and praise them as God and his apostle used to praise them. The excellence of belief. What has been said above, uh, above about belief is applicable to a boy in his early years in order that he may commit them to memory. Its meaning will gradually be unfolded to him. The first duty of the boy is to commit them to memory, then to understand them and then to believe them and then to know these are certain and sure. It comes to his mind as a matter of course without proof. The root of faith of ordinary people is taqlid or blind belief on authority. True, it is that the belief which has been based on authority is not free from some weakness but when it comes, when it is certain and sure, it becomes perfect. To achieve this end, one should not resort to scholastic theology, but to reading the Quran, the Tafsir, the Hadith, and to understand their meaning, because in that case, the light of divine service appears in him, and the advices of the pious, their company, their character and conduct, their fear of God and their asceticism, spread effect in his mind, Instructions to the boy is like the sowing of a seed in his heart. The above actions are like the severing and the serving of water and tending the seed. It grows, becomes strong and thrives into a tree. Its roots become strong and firm and its branches rise high. The boy should be guarded against argumentation and speculation as their harms are greater than their benefits. To make Faith strong by argumentation is like striking a tree with an iron matter. To teach by proof is one thing and to see proof by eyes is another thing. If the boy wants to be included within the travelers of the hereafter with Tawfiq or with God's grace as his friend, the doors of guidance are open for him till he remains engaged in the actions attached to fear of God and he restrains himself from passions and lusts and makes efforts in discipline and self-mortification. Owing to these efforts, a light from God falls in his heart as God says, Whoever strives for us, we shall guide them in our paths, for God is assuredly with those who do right. 29.69 This is the most valuable jewel and the ultimate goal for saints and favorites of God. That is the secret matter which rested in the heart of Abu Bakr as Siddiq and for which he was superior to all other people. The expression of this secrecy has got different stages. It will open to one in proportion to one's effort and striving, and the more one makes his soul clean and pure, it is like the learning of the mysteries of medicine and of other sciences. They differ in proportion to the difference in intellect and knowledge of people. As there is no limit to these stages, there is no limit to the degrees of secrets. Jazakallah khair wa salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.